Hey homies, welcome back to another episode of Home with J. Roche. I'm here with Jermaine. <laughs> Some of you may know, or well, most of you may know him as Dolly. True. Yes. So today we are going to do a Home with J. Roche kitchen takeover. So I am going to step to the side and I'm going to let him do his thing because he said he just cooks for Instagram, but for real. we're going to put it to the test. Say less. Okay. All right, welcome back. So as I said, I'm here with Jermaine today and he's gonna be the, the star of the kitchen. So what are you gonna make? We're gonna make some steak, we're gonna make some rice, mm -hmm. and um, I believe you're making the asparagus, right? So that means he's partly taking over. I'm partly taking over, yeah. Because yeah. if I gotta step in and do anything, yes, yes. that means, you know, he, he ain't doing a full takeover. Right, right, right. But it's since a collab. I did, it's a collab. It it's is. A collab. Yeah, I like the collab. I, like the collab. I, I, I do too. I love these airing on you. Oh, thank you. You be nice. You. Go ahead. <laughs> so since I knew Jermaine was coming, I did make a dessert for him. I'm not gonna tell him what it is just okay. yet. But um, I'm, I can't give up all my powers in the kitchen. Okay, yeah, I'm with that. So, I heard that you're like the best rice cooker in the, the United States. For sure. Why is it? For sure, cause- um, my oh, Who mom, told you? My mom. Okay. She taught, my mom taught me, but this rice right here, I only cook Carolina rice. I know Uncle Ben's, not no minute rice. We cook Carolina rice. The reason why I say we cook Carolina rice is I judge people on how they cook rice. If you can't cook rice, you can't cook it. It's real simple. I can't cook. You can cook rice? I can cook it, but I'm just, I'm not like. We're gonna learn today. Okay. Gonna, it's it's Listen, real simple, it's real simple. It's very, very simple. Never be too good to be the student. That's, come on. Hey. Ooh, she hey. lit. <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna cook some rice today. Um, So back in college, what I used to do was, this was my way of getting girls. Like giving to them mm -hmm. to the spot before okay. I got married, okay? okay? So in college, mm -hmm. you know, everybody had like meal plans. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they get, you know, chicken fingers and french fries and pizza and like, that, that was good for a while. So what I used to do was, <laughs> I used to call my mom, like, yo, mom, how you cook this and that, blah, blah, blah. But rice puts you to sleep, though. Rice is like a heavy starch to put you to sleep. So I used to cook for them, right? Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, I'm tired, so I'm, I'm, I'm slick, I'm real slick. Like, I'm tired, I'll walk you back to the bus, so you can go back up North Camp. I'm with the West, mm -hmm. I'm with the West Chester, y'all. I didn't graduate, I dropped out, but I still went. You still went? I still went. Uh -huh. So, it's a come down to the apartment, it's a cook for him, and they're like, I'm tired. So I'd be slick, like, yo, I'll walk you back to your bus, I'll you go back to your room. But they wouldn't fall asleep. They wouldn't be like, I don't wanna go to sleep. What in the jello pudding? So you know what that <laughs> meant. It's going down. Rice. Rice did it, so yeah. Rice is the sleeper. Rice is the sleeper, yo, put you to sleep. All right, well. Let's get into uh, this food. So you're going to do steak. Mm -hmm. So since you're taking over my kitchen, I only have New York strip. Is that fine? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. All right. Well, let's get into it. Let's do it. All right. So what you find? I found the refrigerator. You know, got some nice steak in here. Oh, there we go. Don't mess up nice now. Got some nice steak <laughs> in here. You feel me? Well, also, you got a, you got a full refrigerator in there. Uh -huh. And I ain't gonna tell you. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna tell y'all her age, but she's young. And a lot of women of her age don't be having a full refrigerator. So they have like, from what I heard, having like fish sticks and like be making like tilapia fish sticks and, sp and spaghetti. No. <laughs> Together? Together. Oh, no. And like liquid corn. Like, no. like they, they put on no. the man like, my, my baby, he, he gonna eat today. He no, no, no. Here at home with Jay Roche, I don't even, if you watched the first episode, I told you I don't care to eat out that much. Right, right, so right. I don't care if I'd have had a long day at work. Right, right. I'd have been out having a few drinks Come or whatever. On. I'm still coming home to cook. Come on! Right. Let's go! Listen. Listen to her. Listen to her. But yeah, we got the steaks right here, though. But, you know, we got to take these out of the drawer. Out the drawer. Out the drawer. Mm -hmm. we got to clean it. For the Philly folks. You know, for the Philly folks, the drawer. This was that time we want. And we're going to clean them now. Okay. But you don't need me though. I don't need you. Okay. Right, not right now. Not right now. Not right now. But, so I can just sit here and just yeah. entertain the camera. <laughs> entertain the camera. Dance for them. <laughs> dance for them. You cook and you dance. Okay. You multi talented. I'm multi. Multi. So you clean. You clean your meat. Clean my meat. You got now, to. Now normally people say that they don't clean clean their meat. Yeah, they out of I'm pocket. I'm just curious. They out of pocket. Do you clean them with water or vinegar? Warm water, a vinegar? Oh, yeah. My mind usually uses uh, vinegar. Yes. So when, just a little tip, when I'm okay. cleaning like my beef and the stuff, right. and my chicken, right. I use some lime juice or right. vinegar. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. wow, I didn't know that. My mom used to um... A natural tenderizer as well. Oh, you cooks! Mm -hmm. I only 
cook for the gram. She cooks, y'all. She cooks. <laughs> Go ahead with your bad self. But yeah, like um, like warm water. I don't understand people how people don't, you know, uh, clean their meats. You know, they had salmonella, they had mad cow disease and all that. So okay. Why can't why wouldn't you clean your meats? I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't, but you know, this your show today. Oh, come on. So you do a piece of meat right here. This is Dolly taking over. Home, this is Dolly taking over home with J. Roche. So Listen, I'm I, just, I'm going to be your assistant. Okay. You know, go behind you. Make Say sure less. everything clean, clean up, you know. Say less. Make it light light on you, all right? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Know. you. Oh, Teamwork make the dream work. Come on. I like that. I like you a lot. I like her a lot. For real. So, okay. Oh, oh, look at this. You got you. So, so do you take your own, your season <laughs> out and put it in a, in a jar? I do. Yo, you. You from down south? <laughs> no. You from up north? Yes. I am. Are you single? I am. Guys, she's single. She cooks. <laughs> she says she'll come home from drinking, from working, from, from working out. All day brunching. All day brunch and come, Sunday dinner. Come on. Why is she single? <laughs> Why is she single? There's a whole bunch of Instagram out there that can't cook cereal. <laughs> can't cook cereal. So we got the sea salt. Come on. The sea oh. salt here. We got the pepper here. Okay. Uh... Yeah. I don't want to crowd this space. You good. You good. Got car garlic powder. And that would be it. Garlic and your Italian dressing? That's fast for the marinade. Okay. Okay. All right, so you raided my cab. You raided my refrigerator. Mm -hmm. A nice, a full refrigerator. Okay. Full refrigerator. Yeah. And my, oh, I'm sorry. Good. And my seasoning uh, cabinet. A, a full seasoning cabinet. You got yeah. every season. Listen, he makes me. I feel like I'm just oh, okay. Here go. All right, all right, all right. In the club, oh, in, right? Popping bottles. Right, yes, popping bottles. Popping bottles. Right. <laughs> all right. Uh, I promise you, I didn't shake that up. You, you're fine. <laughs> it's good though. Swaggy. He says swaggy. You say swaggy too? Yeah. Come on. You he, lit. He says swaggy. You lit. I literally just did a, another. Uh, uh, these guys podcast and I right. said swaggy and it was like what is swaggy? Man, listen, I, do, I say swaggy all the time. Yes! For sure. You know what? This was a man, man in heaven. Okay, so this marinade mm -hmm. consists of Italian dressing yep. and, and riscotto. Risc 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 yep. so, swaggy. So listen, I, uh, the Italian dressing I got from my mom, okay. she used to uh, marinate a lot of like meats. So it was... Um, with the uh, Italian dressing. Mm -hmm. Now the red wine I got was from my boy JP. Okay. I seen him. Um, he was on Instagram. He was cooking. Uh, he was cooking steak. And I was like, Yo, how you enjoy like? <laughs> He's like riscotto. I was like, Why? Right. So I started. I normally do with like lamb and uh, okay. and like steak. So, but like it's, it's really really good. Like it's it's super lit. No, you wanted something. Uh, Italian dressing is definitely a good marinade. It not only makes the meat tender, but it's very flavorful. Did you go to school with this? No. I'm not a, as I always say, I'm not a trained chef or professionally taught. I just, a girl that like to cook. So I learned how to cook because my mom made liver one day, right? Right. And you I never, liver? no. Yeah, right. So I came home and she was like, we eat having liver. And I'm like, Looking at it on the plate, I'm like, that looks like somebody's organs on right. the plate. I'm not eating it. Right. And she's like, no, once you cook it up with the onions, and da -da, I don't care what you're talking about, how you dress it up in the bowl, right. I'm not eating it. Right, right. So I was just like, nah. So from there, I started cooking on my own. I'm like, I'm not eating it. That's like, I, I can't stand that either because liver tastes like, like orangutan piss or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool on that. <laughs> I'm totally cool on the liver, like any liver, chicken liver and all that. Like, man, I'm cool. Did y'all like, please tell me? Did y'all hear what he said? Yeah, I hope he did. He said liver tastes like orangutan piss. Like I don't liver. know how someone would know what orangutan piss tastes like. I would assume it. I would, I would assume that it tastes like that. I I feel him because I'm just not eating it. I don't like the way it looks. I'm not eating it. For sure. You got some nice stuff in here. God dog. Maybe I'm weak. <laughs> no. I need no. a workout. You got to put a little elbow grease in there. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. This is reminding me of my marriage time. Oh, my wedding night. 
is my wedding night right here. So I, I, I take it you enjoy being married. I like it. All right, like two months I've been married. You know, um, it's an adjustment. It's definitely an adjustment. Okay. But um, like it's just like the favor that I've had, been having already. Like you know, he that finds a wife finds a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. So I was already like blessed already in my career. Um, I'm a if they don't know I'm a gospel artist, um, and um, part time Instagram comedian. So just in my life, <laughs> <laughs> just um, just in my career so far, you know, before I was married, I was blessed with with extended grace and like uh, you know two number one Billboard songs and a number okay. one album, and uh, I'm on a Grammy award winning album with P J Morton, and I've toured the world and all that, and I did all that, not married. Single, you know what I mean, and I was wild and out, and I was God was still sending grace to me and all that. And now I'm married. I mean, as soon as I got married, I got a text that said, "Yo, uh, I see you out there." Um, so he just got married, and um, I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Yo, Jonathan Nelson, matter of fact, Jonathan gospel artist named Jonathan Nelson." He said, "Yo, come to my church, make some money, just like that." And I just began calls left and right, just in two months, just extending grace and extending favor. So you know, and then just learning, just learning my wife, just learning her, like you know what I mean, just. Be in the same space with her and stuff like that. So it's a dope thing. Like, and just to learn. And to date. And to date. Oh, come on. We never always date. Yeah. We always date. You know what I mean? So, and the reason why I start cooking it in the crib is because she works. I gotta go back to my wedding night. There we go. <laughs> wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> wedding night. So, so yeah. we're gonna get we're gonna give him a pass. He's so, he's so excited because he's a newlywed. So. A newlywed. Newlywed. You so, mean legal yams? Yeah. <laughs> legal yams. No more for the cake. You know what I'm saying? No more for the cake. Legal years, I can have communion and worship God. Come on! <laughs> you know saying so? So here, yeah, so I start cooking for her because uh, she works. Mm -hmm. She works and all that. So um, I ain't got a regular nine to five. So I was to take the load off of her. I just cook. Now, what's funny about my marriage is compromise, right? So mm -hmm. I'm thinking because first of all, we both we're both only children. Okay. Right, so you know we want to do things on our own anyway. So I took the lead. It was like, you know what? I'm just cook. I know she's gonna appreciate this. But as a woman, as a wife, she wants to cook for me too. Mm -hmm. So the fulfillment wasn't always there. Like if I'm always cooking, she like she, she felt as though like she should have, she should have roles to do I want, it. I want to I want to cook too. Exactly. So that's a part. Of, I'm learning a part of marriage. Like it's a combined like it's a, it's a joint thing. So you know it's like so one thing, one night I asked her I was like, do you want to cook? Like she was like, yes, I want to cook. All right, cool. So I mean, just in that just that one dynamic. I was like, okay, cool, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's how marriage is so, f f so far. Like, from what okay. I'm saying now, like, I ain't no marriage, I ain't no relationship expert. Right. But, like, but just seeing it right now, so. A partnership. A partnership, yeah, for right. sure. Right. So, it yeah. makes, some days just in there, get in there and cook together. Right, you right, know, right, 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 for It's sure. fun. Yeah. I, see, the thing with me, I, I should be, like, this big, but I'm not. <laughs> but I love cooking more than I love eating. To me, food brings people together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah. I'm so way. I enjoy it. Like when my friends are here, I like I want I don't care. It's never a chore for me right, to cook. Right. You know, drinks, whatever it is, you That's know, just have people like come together. That's super so yeah. Dope. yeah I think y'all definitely you y'all two are on the right path. That's right. Um also big shout out to you with, you know, your um albums and things coming up. So you're working right. on a new project? For sure. Um the Simon before accolades. Simon before accolades. I'm doing other people's stuff too as well, like uh, writing for other people and things of that nature. But um, well, uh, I say about like fall time, okay. fall winter time. A Simon before accolades. You know, just gonna be my next gospel album. Okay. And I'm writing for like you know other artists as well too. So that mainly, you know, but right now I'm just enjoying like the married life right now. Well, yeah. Take a break. Um, if you guys don't follow him on Instagram, he's hilarious. Please he, follow me. He will have you in stitches. Like, I'm I'm literally in here enjoying myself yeah. just because this is a, our, the chemistry is just natural. Yeah. And he's naturally funny and I've, you know, a fan, I've looked at his page, you know, I follow him. So, um, I'm super excited to see the things that you have in store. Thank you, that's um, you know, God does definitely send in abundance. So come so on. That's why, you know, all your blessings was coming to you either way. But I guess you fulfill, you know, your life's purpose almost complete. Almost, almost, uh -huh. almost. That's love. That's okay. Love. Right up. So he done, he done got a Ziploc bag. He done got his marinade going. Mm -hmm. uh, these New York strips about to be popping. Popping ton. So we're going to see this. Uh, this recipe, because now I may have to steal it in the next time. I, I told him I don't cook steak at all. Hey, come on. But, you know. When you taste it, you want, I got you. You're good. We'll see with this riscotto and uh, Italian dressing.
You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What it do? Yeah. <laughs> We're here with your beautifully marinated steaks. See, they, our people call these royalty steaks. They're Roy purple. Royalty steaks. Royalty steaks. Because purple is for royalty. Come on. Yes, I know. Blinking. You is blinking. Oh, Ring me, please. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so these purple royalty New York strips. Right. And yeah. Uh, good old Carolina right? Okay, we're gonna get yes. Yes, 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 I'm gonna do my asparagus. Okay. All right. So, 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 so we do, we do your asparagus though. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my asparagus. Right. We're gonna put it in the oven for 375. Okay. Um, coated in some olive oil. Okay. Cracked pepper, a little bit of sea salt, and some Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. And you can add a little garlic to it. Full flair. Okay. Full oh, flair. okay. Full okay. Full flair. okay. Yes. I'm with that. I'm with yeah. that. Okay. Let's so do it. next time when you know you're in the kitchen cooking for your wife, okay. you know, like. I have a little something special. A little something special. Yeah. It's a, so, so do a little special dance. How you do it? It's a little special. Say less. Yes. I'm say less. Okay. I'm with that. All right, so let's go. Let's get it. All right. That's a olive oil. Extra virgin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Extra virgin. He's a I'm married. I'm married. <laughs> Ain't nobody extra virgin. Nothing <laughs> that, baby. <laughs> He's crazy. I can't wait to be this excited Come on. about when I get married because he got all the energy. Like, you know, I'm on my husband, y'all, to death. Come on. I'm, I'm on my As husband, y'all, to death. Okay? As you should. There's nothing wrong with being single. You should be fine yeah. in your singledom, I guess that's if that's the word. Or, you Take know, your time. Be, no, yes. Take your time. I, I, I'll say this, too. In, in the church, I, I grew up in church a lot, you know, mm -hmm. all my life. And, um, you know, a lot of people rush you and try to get you to get married and all that. Now, I'm not saying be... Uh, in a relationship for like 50 years and all that and not get married but right. don't let nobody rush you like you know because a lot of people that say like you know go get married get married get married get married get married get married a lot of the relationships a lot of marriages that are working right now right you know what i mean so like don't rush into marriage i'll say that for sure i'm still learning i'm still learning like I, i've been with my wife for nine years Wow. Nine years before we got married. And okay. I, don't, don't get me wrong, like, that's, that's, it was long as Jack. Like, she, she was a trooper for staying. Like, she was <laughs> super duper trooper, for sure. But, you know, during those nine years, you know, a lot of people was like, get married, help me get married, get married, get married, get married. And a lot of times, I mean, for me, my money wasn't right at the time. A lot of times, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, my spending habit wasn't right. My credit was terrible. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, had to get a lot of stuff together. So take your time. Don't take too much time, but, like, don't let nobody rush so, That's so funny that he said, you said that because with men, it seems as though if financials are in play, like aren't in the right order, right. you guys can't see nothing though. Yes. It's like, I don't have no money. Like, um, I was in. Well, I, I'm, to me, let me say this. Yeah. A real man gonna say, my money ain't right. My money ain't right. My money ain't right. 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 You yeah. got something that's gonna like, take me as I am. Like, right, 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 and, right, right. You know, it shouldn't be that way. Listen. Because I, I'm only gonna ask of you what mm. I would ask, you know, of myself. Right, right. So I'm not saying your financials got. Your financials got to be in order, right. and mine's don't. Yeah, you know, right. it's a, a partnership. It's a partnership. Like, I was in marriage company, what they were telling us was the two things that why marriages fall is sex and finance. Okay. So, had to get my money right now. <laughs> God's good. <laughs> Extra virgin. Extra virgin. No way. He's a mess. You hear me? Woo yes, sir. Woo. Yes. yes. Come on. I want all that action. Now, now my stove. Make it hot. Stuff. My stove don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> my my kitchen. They don't do that in my kitchen. That fire is scared me yeah. just now. I ain't gonna hold. I ain't gonna hold you on that fire. That scared me just now. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I thought I was in hibachi. <laughs> we we in hibachi now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what it is, is that's the oil and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I got scared. I got scared. I got scared. So you just, are you right now, you're just steering them? I'm just brown. Just the browning. Brown. Just the okay. browning. That's all. It's the brown on both sides. Get it nice and brown on both sides. A little char on it. And then we'll put it in there. Okay. Y'all see how he made my, my, my kitchen look like a restaurant. I was like, I was like, number one. I'm like, yeah. Bring the fire. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. I got that scared. That scared me. You got that. Oh, you scared me. I wasn't used to that. <laughs> We have any like like a fork? Let me get a fork. There's a fork. Yes. So I have anything you need right here. Oh, here's my back. This is cool right here. This tongue? is cool. This yep. is cool tongue right here. Yeah, this is cool right here. Come on, you got the good tongue too. <laughs> you got the good tongue. There you go. That's cool. 
Oh. Yeah, the New York strip is my favorite cut. I like ribeye. Okay. I love it. And the New York strip and everybody got like they got the most fat on it. Yeah. So y'all like it like that. Yeah. yeah. It's just Give me a New York strip yeah. with some mushrooms Ooh. and some onions, maybe some blue cheese crumbles. Ooh. You ain't saying nothing. So you want me cook, cook. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. I enjoy it. I was asked to do this because of Instagram, okay? I, I'm not a cook, cook like that. I just gotta cook, like get the job done. You don't cook. She got Parmesan with the, with the, with the asparagus. I never heard of that. That's lit. Well, you won't have it today. Oh, cool. Okay. okay. So I'm using a garlic infused olive oil. Um, I didn't, I'm so, I wasn't holding out, but I'm just saying that just gave my asparagus a little extra flair. Flair, yeah, yeah, yeah a little extra. So, yep. God, no. Some sea salt. Yes. Well, I'm trying. Good. I'm trying to get off the uh, blood pressure meds, so okay. I'm only using like I got you a little bit. I got you. But you know, I got you. Season for taste. Just to brown it. Yes. Mm. Now I really only like to eat steak at home. So I can immediately go brush my teeth. Yeah, I, feel I don't like steak in my teeth. I feel so that. if I'm out somewhere, I may decide to like order a steak. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those people for a very long time to be like, well done, my steak. <laughs> I know, I know y'all wanna clown me. I know y'all wanna clown me. But I just have this weird phobia of like undercooked food. Right. But the older I get, I appreciate, you know, a steak medium rare. Medium well, yeah. Yeah, medium well. I get my medium and, well. Yeah, so you, you give me a little pink in the inside. Yeah. And it does keep the flavor. Yeah, for you sure, know? for sure. You just get me going nice and brown inside. So what do you have to have your oven on? I put mine on 375. Okay. 375. Let's put you up. Which is perfect because our asparagus is going to also cook on 375. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to be making good timing with our steak. We seem about to send another flame up in the sky. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Put these in here for now. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry. So now we're getting into this we getting into this world renowned uh gotcha. rice this rice that you do. For sure. So I don't, I don't know how perfect I, I guess it's it, I guess it's a science to it, but I'm gonna learn from him today because he said he learned from his mother. My mom. And if you learn it from an elder, it's the wisdom. For sure. So, so you put your rice in your pot. Right there. Right? Okay. Now, good thing about these new rice things now, how they coming down with that is you can fold it back up like that. Oh, so the rice not spilling all over the place. The tape back on. Boom. Now, I'm pretty sure you got one of them clamp things too, but. I do. Yeah. So, but yeah. that's good to know. So you got to put your rice in there, right? Now, you go to the water. Now, right? Now, I used to just put the water in here and then. Uh, then put it back on the stove. Okay. But my mom said, wash it. I don't know why the starch yeah. a whole bunch of starch yeah. in there. So yeah, get it off. Yeah, so you know why they get the starch off the rice? You know why? Why? I don't know why. I'm asking you because you know everything. No. I'm no. I'm <laughs> you, you never, was listen, that. never too good to be the student. I hear that. I, so, I'm, I don't know why they do it, but I know my best friend, he's Jamaican. Right, right, right. So, he does all that washing of rice and gotcha, get, gotcha. get in yeah, there, get in there, get in there. For sure, yeah. You know? So, yeah, so, just wash it, put it in there. Up in there, see where that starts and then all that. Mm -hmm. Get all out, then turn that little bit, let it drain out. A lot of starch, turn it in. Yeah, turn it in. Yeah, I'm in here learning rice. And... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Get by a good four times. Yeah, turn it. Now, are, is your family from the South? South Ghana. Okay. What part? Charleston. Stop playing. Chuck Town. No, yep. I'm from Arthur. Really? Yes. Couple. Oh. <laughs> this is lit. This is lit. 
Yes, she she lives in Orangeburg. And my um my uh my dad from Mullins. Okay. He from Mullins. So yeah, my mom was born in Orangeburg. Yeah. She moved up here when she was five, and then um she uh you know lived her life. Mm -hmm. She met my dad. You know they were uh, together uh, for 17, 18 years. Right. But then she, they got divorced, and then. Right. She met her current husband, oh, yeah. who he's from Orangeburg as well. So the whole plan was when they retired, well, when he retired, my mom's a housewife. Right. Oh, come on, housewife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mom. Do that, she, mom. She, uh, they would move back down uh, to Orangeburg. So, oh, wow. yep, they moved back to Orangeburg in 2013. Wow. Yep. That's good. Mm-hmm. the last time right here. So... And then you can see how the water is getting clearer and clearer. Getting clearer and clearer. Yep. Now. So, yep. So, yep. Cool. So, now, you got your rice, right? Okay. So, you pull, you pull your rice up. The rice pot up to about a little bit over the rice. Okay. So, right there. Okay. He's like a rice connoisseur, guys. Put it right there. Just, just pull a bit more in there. Just put that in there. Right okay. There. Put that much in there. A little bit over the rice, right? All right. So now, you go. You put the fire on high. Right now, uh, people when people mess up at, they start stirring the rice. Okay. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. All right. So put the fire on high. Let this boil all the way out. Okay. And then boil all the way out, right? And then boil all the way out. And I'm gonna show you the secret. Of what all right. You do, of what made the it. secret, mom's they secret. Right. Rice. Okay. You hear me? Yes. Jermaine's secret. I'm telling you. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a rice connoisseur, yeah. uh, perfectionist, just like he is. Come on. Once this episode is done. Come on, let's do All it. Right. I'm with that. I'm with that. Uh, I went ahead and I coated the asparagus with the olive oil and all of my rub, onion powder, garlic powder, sea salt, black pepper, and the little secret, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, is my Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. So I just go ahead and use it, the Parmesan flakes, add it on there. No so, rhyme so, or reason. So do you get like real like Parmesan cheese? You just chop it yourself. I bought. I'm, listen, we are millennials. Oh, no, 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 no. Time, but, and listen, at home with Jay Roche, if I can make something more simplified, right. I'm buying the Parmesan flakes that's already okay. in the, you know, cold cheese section. Right. You know, I don't got to sit there with a the grater. Right, right, right. Parmesan you know, sometimes flakes. if you got to, you will. Okay. But right now, we ain't doing it. I got you. Okay. Say less. Say less. So, yep. Go ahead and cover it up. Cover it all up. This is what it'll look like once it's all done. That look good already. Okay. And then we cook this on 375. Okay, I'm going to put these in the oven, get these ready. These will take a little bit more time before, uh, than the steak will. But they still cook at 375. Um, typically, I let them cook for about 25, 25 minutes. I still like my asparagus with like a nice crunch to it. So you don't want to overcook it. All right, so now the water is all the way boiled out, right? Mm -hmm. This is where it gets good. This is where it gets good now. Put your butter on there. It looks nice and soft and fluffy, too. Yeah. Put your butter in there. Yeah. You spot. Now you might get high cholesterol, but you be all right. <laughs> you be all right. Just put your butter in there. Like, the rice going to be good, but your artery's going to be clogged. It's definitely clogged. For sure. One more. There we go. Boom. Got your butter. One more. Thanks, Mom, for the recipe. Okay. Shout out to you, Mom. For sure. Put you to sleep, huh? <laughs> it's the setter up or now. This is the this is what makes the rice good. Foil. You put your foil on here. I'm out from Chuck Town, South Carolina. Put a foil on there. Boom, put your foil right there. Put your pot right there. I go like this. I don't know why my mom did it, but. But then you put your fire on low. Put your fire like on two. You let that cook for about 15 minutes. That's going to be good rice. And some good rice. Now, let's finish up these steaks. Okay. Royalty. Royalty. I'm really 
enjoying just sitting on the sideline. Hey, listen. You know, learning. Okay. And those are nice and purple. He done had them sitting in there for Scotto. Yes. For Scotto. At the Bellagio. At the Bellagio. <laughs> for Scotto at the Bellagio. <laughs> You just think gonna be a little on, uh -huh. you know what I mean? And then you know you with your lady or your man and all that. They'll be like, "Hey, that steak was good. I'm tired." He's gonna be like, "You want more muscle to your car? Mm -hmm. Take you home?" He's like, "No, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy." <laughs> Only make fake food to make you sleepy. Well, I like food that make me sleepy. Oh, that's right. It's it's a uh a, a, a African restaurant. Uh, on uh, Atlanta, right? Uh, Foose Grill. Foose, you like the best fish in the, the world. world? What? Come on, Foose should be on fish. Second, second one. Come on. Come on. Listen, is he my cousin? Come on. I'm Listen. here. Foose. I'm here. <laughs> Foose, a fried porgy. Oh, my mom loves Listen. fried porgies. Listen, yeah. Foose. Foose. Foose Grill. I swear, I think Foose be in the back sprinkling little Yo, sleepy eggs in the food. Yeah, that's too. Uh, that, that fish. Uh, it, it put you to sleep. sleep. Yeah. It really put. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe you know food. It put you I know to, food. Yes. Come on. Yes. That food put you to be. I, I was stuck at the same thing a fried porgy yeah. and some mac and cheese yeah. and yams. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 And he said yeah. his little, the tea, the homemade yeah. tea. Yeah. For sure. Like, um, They got good. Uh, they have a, I don't know what, what kind of hot sauce they They got a nice hot sauce there. Listen, I get, I get a lot of fried fish from there. I think. That was one of the first places I really enjoyed their fried salmon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God dog. Yes, I love foods. That's good. Listen, if I if I know I want to go into a deep sleep, I'm going to give me some food. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's coma food. Coma <laughs> food. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. You want to take you home? Want me to take you home? I want to just lay here. Okay. Okay, beloved. This is lit, y'all. So how um how long how long you been cooking? Like how long you been like cooking? Since really like twelve or thirteen. Really? Yeah. I ain't start cooking. I was about like eight months out of college. Yeah. I've been cooking for years. So like literally, my cousins they had this ongoing joke. I was hungry and right. I wanted curry chicken. I took a whole chicken out. Right. Out of my uncle freezer, defrosted it with a whacker, was chopping it down and made my own curry chicken. I was thirteen years old. And you just bit on the one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So my play mom, she used to make curry chicken, so I would watch, I watch, I only got to see it once. So that's why, next time I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing this rice. Come on! Listen, listen. See it once. Look at the rice. Come on! Y'all see that rice? You see that, you see that rice? Little, little butter pockets. Mm, mm, mm. Come, come on, man. <laughs> Fella, she's single. She needs to be out here. The, the, the streets is I not for her. I need to be her. out here? No, no, no. The streets is not for her. She needs to be in this kitchen. No streets is covering my knees. I don't want to be in the streets. You don't want to be in the streets. Listen, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, party girl turn homebody. Come on. I used to party all the time too. Like TPBS. Yeah, TPBS about to die on the set. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I'm sorry. Yeah. So, oh. so now we back. We back. <laughs> and we about to pull these royalties out. <laughs> out, out, out. Yes. <laughs> so we're about to get into looking at these. Not raw, not raw renowned, um, royalty steaks. Not raw renowned rice. Raw renowned rice. Raw renowned rice. Yes. So we're going to pull out the steaks, get into the rice, mm -hmm. asparagus. I'm ready to eat. You ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. All right. Well, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Uh, Hold up, uh, uh, uh. Don't burn my counters oh, now. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. I'm so sorry. All right, no problem. There we go. There you go. Mm. It's important, my little, my little butcher block babies. We ain't going, um, you got it? I got you. Ooh, look at this. Oh, you got fancy on them. Yes. Ooh, yes, sir. God, dog. Wow. So, yes. Check it out. So here we are with our uh um, why am I drawing a blank? I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> yes, asparagus. Right. Thank you. That's thank you. Okay, I'm here thank to serve. You. Thank you. I'm I'm the sushi guy, but he you know. It's right. Yeah. So asparagus and we coated it with some Parmesan cheese mm -hmm. and some mozzarella and garlic. We got these uh royalty steaks. It's royalty steaks. And then we about to get into this. That's the main course. The main course. The, the raw renowned rice. That's the rice. Fluffy rice. Fluffy rice. That's that's one thousand thread count rice right Egyptian there. Egyptian cotton thread Egyptian rice. Egyptian cotton rice. Steak forty eight rice. The steak forty. This is fifty dollars. Hundred a part of your hundred dollar minimum. For sure. For yeah. sure. It's just rice. For sure. Can't get no lobster steak, or fried. Steak forty eight got them mad right there. Oh, now. super oh, mad. Oh, they mad. Super mad. <laughs> Listen, guys, you was already paying highs. A person anyway, and that, and that, that you just get advertised. Now, if you just get advertised, that's just on you. Now, now you definitely got to pay a hundred. Now you definitely got that. So I'm hungry. I know you hungry. Definitely hungry. Um, I'm ready to drink. Give me another glass of wine. Oh yeah. But I told you I made you a dessert. Oh. Because I knew you were coming. Okay. But I didn't tell you. What kind of dessert you so made? I made peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. I don't. Okay. I'm just telling me. I don't really eat sweets. I feel bad. I don't eat sweets. Like I'm vanilla bean, Haagen Dazs type of person. That's me. But since I'm married, I've been trying stuff out. Okay. That's try everything once. Let's just try everything once. I who don't like peach cobbler? I made peach cobbler. You know, I was having a guest over. I thought making something nice and warm let's do or it. just you know it's be cool. hospitable of it's me. Cool. I mean, let's do it. Let's, 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 we gonna bring cobbler. it out too. Bring it out. All right. Bring it out. Oh, you is prepared. Yes. That peach cobbler all the time. I was excited that you was coming. Yeah, I know. Peach cobbler. You gonna oh, try? Okay, all right. I, I, this, is my, this, this is my first time ever having peach cobbler. First time for everything. First time for everything. Let's try it. All right. Well, let's get into it. Come on. Please, please. You, I, I, I need a peach. You want? You want to try the peach cobbler now? It's definitely fine. Right. Let's try it. Let's do it. Well, let's Begin this on camera now. On camera. You bake. She cooks and she bakes. Fellas, she's single. This she ain't bakes. a dating show. This is home no, with Jay Roche. He ain't home. gotta keep putting me like selling matter me fact, Matter of fact, matter of fact, it's gonna be, it could be your home with Jay Roche. <laughs> it could be your home with Jay Roche. <laughs> all right, come on, let's do it. Oh, all right, so. We're gonna pretend, you know, it's COVID, but you know, okay. oh, still, still try it out. We done broke all the COVID protocols. Anyway, we did, so we, we did. We, we, we're we yeah. less than six feet apart. We at all. key key and elbow and, right, right, and right. everything. So how about I just dig into it like that? Mm-hmm. All right, let me see. Oh. Okay. That little crust, mm-hmm. crust on it, let me see. Make sure you get some peaches. There's a peach, right? I think. Is this? <laughs> let me see. Don't lie now. No. We eat on camera. That's good. If I was in the streets, this would be really good. No, 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 no cap. No cap at all. What's this like? Is that like grand pie or something? No, it's an actual like a, a, a baked up crust. You made that. Mm-hmm. This could be your home. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really good. No cap. I promise you, no cap. Okay. That's really good. You know, people say no cap a lot and still be like... No, 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 no. I'm not They LOL with no the bad face. <laughs> gas is too high to be given out. So yes. No, no, this... Oh, another piece. God, dog. I'm nasty. I done double dipped. I'm so sorry. You did, but it's fine. I, I made it for you. I, I done double it. dipped just now. My <laughs> bad. Like, COVID. I'm vaccinated. I'm vaccinated, though. <laughs> I made it for you, so it's fine. Mm. 
Okay. So Jermaine likes my peach cobbler. We're about to plate this food up. I'm gonna pour me another glass of wine and enjoy. Mm. Mm -hmm. He like me, I eat dessert before my mm. regular food all the time anyway, so. I double dip. No, no he did. I double dip. I'll, I'll, Anybody else want the peach cobbler if they double dip? But guess what? I'm eating it. Um. <laughs> I'm, I told y'all I was hungry. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait. We plated this food up. Yeah. We about to get into these royalties. Royalties. I'm going to taste this Steak 48 uh, Egyptian oh, cotton right. world renowned yeah. uh, Geechee rice. Geechee rice, yeah. Okay. All right, so here we are. Let's see. Y'all check out that I got the, my blue cheese got, crumbles. I got the blue cheese on there. Yeah. Mmm. Tender. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, we did okay. a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mushrooms and blue cheese was an extra. A good that, that was her. That was her. But it was only give royalties. So. I, I gotta do that. I definitely mm. gotta do that. Get, the, get into that rice. Mm. Get into that rice. Not a hard grain in sight. Mm -mm. You hear me? Mm-mm. We got mm. Mm -hmm. I know you gotta eat, but you, go, you, go, you may have to make your own plate. You go, you go, you go, I'm go. hungry. Go ahead, yes, have a um, I'm just. Do your thing. I'm thankful for uh, Jermaine coming on the show today. While we wrap this up, I'm gonna eat this food. Yeah. Um, get into this asparagus. You like asparagus? I love asparagus. Oh, okay. Well, I listen. I can't wait to get into it. Oh yeah. Well. You're making me hungry. God, no. Well, listen, we out of here. We, we, we out of here. We, we, I'm taking over. I'm taking over now. Listen, mm -hmm. guys, if I say anything else, guys, follow me on Instagram at hello underscore die 24. Uh, my uh, Facebook and uh, and uh, Twitter is Jermaine Dolly. That's J E R M E I E D O L L Y. Mm -hmm. All my accounts are verified. Eat your food. All my accounts are verified. So if there's anybody in y'all inboxes or DM asking y'all for money, it is not me. But if you want to give me money, my cash app is Jermaine Dolly. Dollar sign Jermaine Dolly. And listen, if you keep Jesus Christ first, you'll never be last. If you keep Jesus Christ first, you'll never be last. If you keep Jesus Christ first, you'll never be last. One way to success is to serve. In order to lead, you must follow. And you serve in territories that you soon hope to conquer. We out. See y'all again next time we're on with Jerry Shaw. I'm going to finish Yes. <laughs>